Case number 45. I remember that one like it was yesterday. Truthfully, over the years, most of the cases merged together. Names, faces, case notes, all blended together. Things become monotonous. After enough time, something comes along, stirs you up, breaks the monotony, get things going. A Wilted Rose in Newport, a CHS Media Original Podcast. Students, may I have your attention? Students, students, our first speaker for the Newport City Police Department, Detective Penn. I'm Detective Penn of the Newport City Police Department. Do you have a gun? What about a dog? Have you seen a dead body? Excuse me, Detective, we may have a problem. Excuse me for a minute. Duty calls. It's lucky here or suppose unlucky. One of our teachers is dead. They don't count for that in the handbook, and I've got no idea what to do. I'll radio this in. Have some teachers cordon off the hallway. We don't want the kids finding the body. Well, Jeff, how's the kids? Good, good. Your brother still doing all right? For now. What can you tell me about our victim? Female, between 25 and 30 years of age. Upon first inspection, looks to be in good health. Broken blood vessels and capillaries point to a heart attack or stroke. Won't be able to determine cause of death until I get her back to the morgue, but my bet's on heart attack. Doesn't seem to be any foul play either. I've seen younger people die to stuff like this. Can you approximate a time of death? The body's still warm. Rigor mortis hasn't set in. Given the temperature of the body and state of it, she can't have been dead more than one or two hours. Either way, it's odd to see a young woman in good health have a heart attack. I agree, but trans fats are a killer. Ha. Ah, you're morbid, Jeff. They still elect me every year. I've got the resource officer barricading the hallway. Is there anything we can do to help you? Can you take me to the teacher that found her? Miss Parker, head of the social studies department. Highest test scores in the state, too. The kids love her. Miss Parker? Yes. I'll be taking you back to the station. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. We just need to ask you a couple questions. Sir, you'll find I'm not so easily shaken. I'll tell you everything I can. How well did you know Miss Rose? I've known her for about five years, since she started teaching. I must declare, I find her a deeply unpleasant person. Not enough to kill her. Good heavens, no. She was mean and crude. It seemed not a day would go by that I wouldn't hear her screaming at those poor children. And that husband, as long as I've lived, and I've lived long, I've never met a woman who... Ma'am, what time did you find the body? About 9.25. The children were off at the assembly. You mentioned something about a husband? I'd rather not speak further ill of the dead, but it is for a greater good in this case. I can't say she ever told me his name, but she told me everything else. They were going through a divorce. A rocky divorce. I think his name was Bill, or something along those lines. Thank you for your cooperation. At this point, it seems Miss Rose died of natural causes. Now, who might have been the last person to see her alive? Her planning period overlapped with the big assembly. I would assume myself or another member of the faculty. Thank you again. The sergeant here will see you out. Yes, I'm Detective Pym with the City Police Department. I'll be sending over officers to pick up Miss Rose's records. The officer from the assembly? Of course, I still have you in the sign-in sheet. I'll be sure to send you them records. Thank you. 